Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be the last you hear of my voice because today Rob is going to be doing my voiceover. So, um, <laughs> so we're going to see if he actually knows anything about makeup. You know, probably not, but it'll be quite funny. I've seen that he said he wanted to do this, so we're just going to give it a go. I'm just going to do my makeup, play some music in the background, and then you'll see him chatting away in a minute. Oh, I don't know, it's going to be quite hilarious, isn't it? But we'll see. So, I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to show the products and stuff and then Rob's just going to talk you through it. Alright then boys and girls, let's get this show on the road. And this is pore essential, it looks like, that word was going to say. You want to toothpaste this onto your middle finger, squish it together really in a disgusting manner, put it on your chin, on your forehead and on your nose, which you'll do, there you go. I've seen this before. Now rub it all over your face. I don't know why you start on the, the chin, the head and the nose, but uh, I'm guessing it's because the nose is an oily place. Oh, sorry, makeup forever. Now this comes out like a little wriggly worm. Put it on your middle finger, always the middle finger. Chin, nose, forehead. Exactly the same as last time. Now get that bad boy rubbed in. Rub it, rub it straight in there. Get it embedded right into the skin so it doesn't just fall off now what is this flawless filter now this goes on your cheek and then it goes on your other cheek now I'm unsure exactly what this does but you just take a brush and rub it all over get it in there rub 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 blend 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 bake is it the word perhaps now do the other side don't just do one side because that would be very very odd now, while well, she carries on, oh, there we go, revolution. She does this a bit too quick for me. I'm quite a slow reader, so I hope you guys are paying attention. On the back of the hand this time, not the middle finger. Uh, I believe she just put it on her face. Now, I'm taking it as this is a foundation. This is the, uh, the basic foundations of a uh, makeup tutorial. You start off here. That's why it's called foundation. Uh, it's what they do in buildings and stuff like that. But just get it caked in there. Cover up all the pores, cover up all the uh, marks or spots, blemishes. There's the word for you. Cover it all up. Get it all up so then your skin looks immaculate. Now, uh, she's doing this. I don't know what that was. Ah, mist. Just put some mist on your face. Sometimes you get it outside. Just bottle it up when it gets a bit misty outside and there. Uh, then you put it on your face. Now you get this little egg-shaped sponge and you dab your face with the mist. This hydrates your skin, perhaps, or not. Another thing I can't read. Now, put it on the back of the hand again. Now, there's a little thing. You either use your middle finger or the back of your hand. Put this under your eyes. This is, um, this is what Emily does to get rid of those little black panda eyes that she gets because I keep her up at night snoring she's put it on her nose and chin now the nose and chin and forehead get quite a lot of attention this is because of oil I've been informed now bake it in or dab it in sponge it in do whatever you want to do really but just get it in there oh she's uh, looking up to God right there thinking why have I let Rob do this? Uh, get that little spongy egg thing again and dab it in this time. The brush wasn't enough. Air spun. Now, oh, don't even put it on your middle finger. Don't even put it on your hand. Get it on directly on the sponge. Now, this does something that you can obviously see. It's, uh, it's made it a bit more paler, a bit more... Uh, smoother on the face, I, I suppose. It's looking like them. I couldn't tell you what it's called. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you know what it's called. I, on the other hand, have a memory like a sieve, and have not got a Scooby. What the hell she just done? But now she's using the brush. Lob the egg away. Brush it now. Comb your eyebrows. This is so important. You need to comb your eyebrows. Get some of this Mac Brown stuff. 
and uh, you want to go for the lighter of the two browns. Uh, I'm sure that Emily might put what she's used here, but if not, just go into Mac, just ask them for the brown eyebrow stuff. They'll know exactly what you're talking about. Now you want to brush it into your eyebrow, right in there, so your eyebrows look a bit more fuller, a bit thicker. Now you don't want to be going over the lines because that's just bad drawing. So carry on, I feel like we're going to be on the eyebrows for quite a long time. So, um, yes, Emily's always told me this little thing. I can, I can give this little nugget of information out. Uh, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. You don't want the eyebrows to both look the same. So do one eyebrow, beautiful, and do what you like with the other one. Do what you like, go mental. And uh, that makes it look better, apparently. Yep, she agreed with me there. Uh, this is the comb thing. My brow pencil. Now she's going to be colouring in the actual hairs, maybe. Um, yes, let's go with that. She hasn't combed them. Um, she hasn't used the other side. Maybe that's what she was using. Oh, there you go. Make it look nice and browner. And then point all your eyebrows down south. All of them. It doesn't matter why. It's just that's that's what you need to do. You've got to do it. Now look at her go. She ain't a bad little drawing person. She's just so good at these eyebrows. This is what takes the time when we're getting ready to go out. And I shout up the stairs. It's time to go. Emily will be doing her eyebrows. But it always comes out perfect. I don't know what that was again. Uh, but she's taking this tiny little brush and she's going to be putting it underneath her eyebrow. Maybe this defines them a bit more? Perhaps. And she's rubbing it off. There you go. That was perfect. And then now above the eyebrow. Yes, I'm, I'm assuming that this defines the eyebrow a bit more, maybe puts a bit more shape in it, in case you've gone over the lines. Uh, then you can correct or mondo it with this stuff. Eyebrow corrector, I'm going to call it. So if you're doing it and you think, oh, balls, I've gone over the lines, just get some of this corrector gear, lob it on there. Back on the underneath of the eyebrow again. I believe she rubs this off though. I think the uh, underneath of the eyebrow, you just got to rub it off. There you go. No point of it. Get rid of it. Don't want it. Don't want it anymore. Here we go. Another brush. To blend, to bake. There are words that I'm just going to chuck out there. Doing a little dance to herself. Singing maybe. She always sings while doing her makeup. Light brown stuff again. You want to update the previous light brown stuff that you put on there with more light brown stuff. And then comb. Important to comb. Look at those eyebrows. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. This stuff. Don't know what it is, but she's got it. And she's playing with it. This is going on her eyes. A little massaging of the eyes. Doesn't go and miss. Doesn't go and miss. Might wake you up a little bit. Might put you back to sleep. Don't know. Get this purple from this palette. This palette, everyone knows it. It's a very popular palette. And you want to put it in the eyeball. Make the eyelid move as much as possible in a very strange manner. I'm pretty sure that eyeball skin is not meant to do that. Eyelids is what they're called. Now you want to just uh, get in there. Make it look like you've you've just had an allergic reaction to something that's the sort of color we're going for it's a very very bright pinky color now she's just getting right inside into the creases right get in there love into the dark places of the eyes get right it it's really really 
not nice to see eyes move like that. I have a very big phobia of eyes and touching eyes and I couldn't do this. It's lucky I don't do this. Now this is a nice brush. Go for the purple. Spray it. Give it a little moisture. Because as, as the saying goes, a moist brush is a good brush. Now the purple goes nice with the pink. I must say, I'm quite the artiste myself. I know what colours go together and this is perfection. Now you want to do half of the eyes. Only half. You don't need to do the full amount because in a minute you're going to fill up the other half with a different colour and your your minds are just going to be blown. Carrying on poking the eye a bit more make me feel a little bit more uncomfortable. That colour looked like it said Zippo. Uh, so get a bit of a Zippo and mix it all in. Mix it all in so it's blended. It doesn't look, it looks a bit more natural I think. I hate eyes. Blue. Da, da, Dahlia? Dahlia blue. Ooh, she says. Moisten that brush. Don't you forget to moisten that brush. And I'll fill in the other half of the eye that we couldn't bother to do earlier. But, yep, see this? The purple, blue. It looks like the colours are fading into one another. Now, that's exactly what she's going for, I believe. Now... The sooner we get off the eyes, the sooner I feel less uncomfortable. She's moving every part of her eye. Just one miss blink and her brush is in your eye. Mm. We're going to put it on our finger this time now. And we're going to rub it in. The brush is inadequate. <clears throat> oh, but we're back onto the brushes. <laughs> It's not inadequate. Get another, a smaller brush. These brushes are just getting smaller and smaller. Get a bit of this goldy colour. And moisten that brush, ladies and gents. Moisten the brush. And get into the tear duct. That's horrific. Mm. How has she not got it in her eye yet? My eyes will be the colour of that pink stuff by now. Uh, we've gone on to, sorry, I completely missed this. We've gone on to this, underneath the eyebrows. Maybe to separate the colours, blending them in. Or maybe to just add a bit more sheen to the eyes. Now look at this little eyeliner here. Oh, she has coloured in. Oh, don't open your eyes. Go for a little tiny wing. Love it. You've got to have a wing, girls. You've got to have a wing. And then clamp. Clamp on your eyelashes for some reason. Just clamp on them. Don't pull them off. Clamp. Number seven. Now, this is pre-eyelash makeup. You put this on before you put your proper eyelash makeup on, I don't know the, what the word is, mm, mascara, there you go, this is the pre-mascara, stick this bad boy on to make your eyelashes white, just to make them black again, uh, this is to just get all the dust off, you've been dusting quite a bit on your eyes, so excess dust could have gone anywhere on your face, just give it a good old dust, get the old Marc Jacobs, Jesus Christ, she's got some expensive taste. Now you want to make your eyelashes black again, because white eyelashes, just don't do it. They've got to be black and long eyelashes. And a Marc Jacobs is expensive. I'm not allowed to buy a PlayStation game, but apparently this is a good spend. It's looking very beautiful at the minute. Very nice. Look at all the colours. Now we're going for a green. Green is a very, very strange little choice there. Underneath the eye goes the green. Look, we're still on the eyes. Still on the eyes. Every now and then, if you look close enough, you can see right up her nose. 
There you go. <laughs> what beautiful brown eyes she's got, though. She's pretty. That was gold again into the tear duct. Mm hmm. Right in there. Now, surely. What is this? Um. I don't know what that is. It's another type of comb. Now you want a chocolate bar. Poke the brush onto the chocolate bar. Go as if you're going to go into your ear. And then from your ear, follow your cheekbone down. I believe that this is called contouring. Make a funny tight face. And contour the hell. I thought you usually done a little bit of contour on your nose, so maybe I'm incorrect with the contouring. The egg's back. The little squidgy egg is back in town. Now get some of this stuff. A little da whoosh of that. A zhuzh. A little tap, tap, tapper. And bang. Straight on. More of the... Is this the glow that she always talks about? I don't think it is. This is the cheek bone thing that usually makes your cheek bones red but this time we're going brown get the hair out I told you love page one oh we're back on we're still on this cheekbone the cheekbones need to be defined they need to be standing out it really helps with your it makes your face look skinnier it makes you look it stands out oh we're drying the lips the lips are too moist she said too much fun. We're going for the lipstick. It wasn't because she was having too much fun, she was just drying it for the lipstick. Now you start off in the middle and go either side. Don't go over the lines because that looks a bit silly. There are some times you can get away with it, but this time, no, you're not doing it. Now you want a bit of this, which makes it look like your lips are wet again after you've dried them and put lipstick on. You want to make them look a bit moist. Do like that word today? Word of the day? Dab in the moisture. Put a nice little smile face. Keep dabbing. Carry on. Super glow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... Look at that. She's just done a little swish and flick. Swish and flick. Just to make her cheeks look a little bit more glowy. And then and the nose. So the nose has had a lot of attention today because it needs it. Now just give yourself a tiny little moustache of glow as well. Obviously, don't, don't forget the moustache of glow. The forehead of glow, everywhere, glow. just glow. Just make your face glow, and then use that mist that we got bottled from earlier, and spray it on your face. Get the egg in. Now, I don't know what the egg does, I'm going to apply something. But she didn't dip it in anything this time, so we're just sponging the face. Look at this. This is the complete. Give us a little bit of blue still, babe. Ooh. Yes, beautiful. Well done, babe. And that was me, guys. I'm Rob Dow. Uh, and Emily is going to be so upset with me. Not knowing anything. <laughs>